Hi, and welcome to the MyTel Visual Workflow Manager Real-Time Monitoring Overview Demonstration. IVR routing includes two contact center real-time monitors, the Global Callback Monitor and the Port Status Monitor. The Global Callback Monitor enables system administrators to monitor callback states in real-time. It displays the details for the currently available callbacks and gives users the ability to requeue and delete callbacks. The Port Status Monitor enables system administrators to monitor port states in real time. It displays the call flows that are currently executing on ports and gives users the ability to take ports out of Do Not Disturb and play back historical port activity within the auditor. Let's take a look at how this works. Here we have a contact center client profile that is pre-configured with both the monitor callback list and port monitor. You can open these monitors from either the real-time drop-down menu at the top of Contact Center Client or from the callback and port buttons on the real-time toolbar. The callback monitor displays statistics for the callback caller number, name, status, type, reason, number of callback attempts from an agent, the last time a callback was attempted by an agent, the request time, the time the request was received, a web IP address if available, the last attempted call to the client, the number of attempted calls to the client, the earliest and latest time the caller is available to receive the callback, the ANI, DNS, dialable number, device name, device type, voice message, country, area, and region that the callback originated from, and the port attempting to perform the callback. Now, we'll place a call to our IVR writing system and leave a voice callback request so we can view the monitor in action. If you are calling from within North America, please enter your 10-digit phone number followed by the pound sign when finished. If you are calling from outside North America, please enter 011, your country code, followed by your phone number and enter the pound sign when finished. You have entered 6, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1. Four, eight, eight, one. If this is correct, press 1. If this is incorrect, press star. At the tone, please record your name. When you have finished recording, press 1. Matt. Playing back recording. Matt. To keep this recording, press any digit. To delete, recording has been saved. Matt. To submit this callback request, press 1. To cancel this request and leave the system, press the star key. Thank you for submitting your callback request. A member of our sales team will return your call as soon as possible. Once the callback request has been placed to the IVR writing system, the callback monitor is updated in real time. You'll notice that the caller name, number, status, priority, type, time received, and all other valid statistics now display within the monitor. Now let's jump to an agent desktop running Contact Center Client to see how agents can handle callback requests. Here we have Contact Center Client running on an agent desktop with the interactive visual queue monitor open. You'll notice that the callback also displays on the agent's interactive visual queue monitor. Using this monitor, agents can handle and perform telephony functions such as requeue or reject callbacks. Here, the agent right-clicks the callback request and dials the customer. Callbacks can also automatically be delivered to agent desktops running Contact Center Client based on agent availability, configured callback thresholds, and the callback request times entered by customers. Now back on the supervisor desktop, you'll notice that the callback, once handled, is cleared from the monitor. Now let's take a look at the port monitor. The port status monitor displays port names, dialable numbers, configured extension types, associated media servers, hunt group names, hunt group dialable numbers, call flow names, phone states, phone displays, ANI, DNS, and redirect statistics in real time. In this example, a call is made to the IVR writing system's main call flow, and the monitor is updated in real time. You'll notice that the port with dialable number 4614 and member of Hunt Group 4600 has a call ringing. 
When the call is answered by the port, a message will be played to the caller. You'll also notice that the anandinus of the call is provided within this monitor. When the call is ended, either by the caller or the call flow, the call clears from the monitor. Thank you for watching this video. To find out more about Mitel IVR routing and the Visual Workflow Manager application, visit mitel.com.